There's been some promising findings from a study into a COVID vaccine candidate. Novavax says their vaccine is 90% effective against the virus and hopes to have it approved and rolled out worldwide by the end of the year. Infections, hospitalizations and deaths due to COVID-19 are now at their lowest point since March of 2020. But the pandemic isn't over yet, and a new vaccine could soon be available to help contain it. Novavax releasing data from its large-scale U.S. study showing strong effectiveness against the virus, especially the many COVID variants now spreading across the country. Overall, we had 90 percent efficacy. Uh, which is very high, uh, particularly at a time when there are many variants circulating, in fact, mostly variants circulating uh, during the trial. The announcement comes as the pace of vaccines is slowing. We're averaging about a million shots a day in the U.S., down from a peak of more than 3.3 million. Cities and states are now creating even more incentives, including a new referral bonus program here in New York. Community groups getting a donation of up to $100 for every person they sign up for a shot. They're going to use their reach to bring people in. They're going to get rewarded for it in a way that will then put resources back in the community. The climbing vaccination rate prompting more Americans to get out and about. The FAA says on Friday they screened more than 2 million people, the most in a single day since the outbreak started. But they're also reminding travelers it's still possible to bring the virus home even if you're vaccinated. Only 50% of your trips start at your home airport. So when people are traveling, it's important to know what's happening at the city that you're returning from. The TSA says they're screening about 75% more passengers than at the same time last year.